welcome to the presentation. My name is Dr. Tracy Hines Lashley, and today's presentation is on heartfelt mindset. Thrive from the heart. You know, what does it have to do with communication? Well, it has a lot to do with communication, and you are going to pretty much find out exactly how the way you think impacts your communication skills. So I know we have all heard about the fixed mindset, growth mindset, but I bet you have never heard of the heartfelt mindset. Wow, what exactly is that? Well, we're gonna find out. But I wanna first go back in and refresh your memory or tell you about the fixed mindset, just in case you're not aware. Now, the fixed mindset, it actually is a mindset that thinks that nothing will ever change, that you were born this way. You were born to think a certain way, and that's just it. Can you imagine you never changing your thought process? You never growing at all. What type of communicator would you be if that were to happen? See, the fixed mindset says, I believe that my intelligence, personality, and character is inherent and static. Really? Do you fit into that category? It's locked down or fixed. It says, my potential is determined at birth. It does not change at all. Huh, let's think about that. If you never grow, never change at all, that means you will still be in the, the immature mindset that your thoughts never grow. They never go into adulthood. So can you imagine talking to an adult who still acts or talks as a child or an infant? So think about that. I don't think that's where you want to be. So let's get into the growth mindset. Wow, I know we are aware of this one. So you are always growing. You believe that your intelligence, personality, and character can be continuously developed. You say, my true potential is unknown. Wow. So that means you're always trying to grow yourself. You're always thriving to get to the next level. So when you're in that growth mindset, you're more open to receiving what someone has for you. So what does that mean? It means when someone is talking, you're right there with them. You're, you're there to listen to what they have to say. You're, you're communicating with them more than you will with a fixed mindset. Because of a fixed mindset, you're just sitting there, you're like, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, whatever. Get out of my face. Pretty much. But when you're always growing, you're always wanting to know what the next person has to say. <laughs> wow, think about it. It's like, they might have something important that can help me. They can help me get to the next level. So you're gonna be more open to listening to them. Wow, did you ever think about that? You know, we always think about a mind say, okay, everybody always talking about, yeah, 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 okay. Everything starts with the mindset. So when you're thinking about that, a lot of people don't tie mindset and communication together. And they go hand in hand. You know, and I just showed you how. So that is why it's so important to get to this next level mindset, the heartfelt mindset. I believe my intelligence, personality, and character functions 
at an optimal level than socially and emotionally engaging. Wow. My true potential is realized through service. Do you see that? <laughs> you always seek to add value to others and benefits. Oh my God. Wow. So what does that mean when it comes to communication? Your heart is in it. You're there to serve someone else. You're there to listen to them because when you listen to them, you're trying to pick up key words that they're saying. How can I help them? What else can they do? What else can they say that will, you know, trigger a thought that, oh, there you go. I can help them by doing this or, or that. Man. Okay. So I hope you are realizing that a heartfelt mindset gets you into that mode of serving others. It gets you into the mode of always wanting to listen to what people have to say so that you can help them. Yes. So imagine if more people thought this way. Can you, um, can you see how communication, oh my God, how it could elevate you to thrive. I mean, I am just like so excited about talking about this because this is something that is so key that most people miss. <laughs> Communicating from the heart is like, oh man. Wow, you help people so much more. You add value to their life. And guess what? You can even add value to your own. Yes, by adding value to others, you add value to yourself. But we all should make a habit daily to wake up and say, how can I serve someone? So when you go to someone, you say, how can I serve you? If we get in the habit of saying that, we would just say it without even thinking about it anymore. You walk up to someone and say, how can I serve you today? Not how can I help you, but how can I serve you? Why serving, not helping? Because sometimes when you say, can I help you? That person might take it as, oh, you think I need help. And <laughs> Come on. Can you think about some situations where someone has walked up to you and say, can I help you? Or do you need some help? Why? Why do I look like I need help? <laughs> yes, it can come across wrong. And that's what you don't want to happen. You don't want your great intentions to be twisted. So walk up to someone and say, how can I serve you today? A coworker, just ask and they'll tell you, they will be more open to tell you how you can serve them in their time of need, not assuming they need help. There's a difference and it's a difference that you should be aware of. So, why not a fixed hard growth mindset? I love this little guy sitting, walking around right there with his question mark. Like, hmm, why are you saying that? Well, there's a reason for that. We're going to start with why not a fixed mindset? Because remember, a fixed mindset never grows. It, it never evolves. It never elevates. So with a fixed mindset, a person avoids failure. Oh my goodness. Let me say it again. The person avoids failure. You must fail to grow. If you never fail, how will you grow? That's like you can't, if you fall, you, if you don't ever fall, you don't know how to get back up. You don't know how it feels because why you never fail. So, my friend and mentor, John Maxwell, wrote a book and it, failing forward. You must fail. Guys, you have to fail to grow. So we have been programmed, and I say that because 
it's the, our parents, our ancestors, everybody programmed us to think that you should never fail. Failures are losers. No, failures are winners. As long as you get back up. So when you have that fixed mindset, you also have the desire to look smart. <laughs> So what does that mean when it comes to communication? I can't let someone know that I'm not as smart as they are or that they're smarter than me or that I'm a dummy or however you want to say it. That you just don't want to live there. And they also avoid challenges. Man. They avoid a challenge. So what does that mean with communication? Hmm. I'm avoiding your challenging situations you put me in because your thoughts are higher than my thoughts and you're asking me difficult questions and it's challenging me to think. <laughs> so do you see how all that flows now? And they also stick to what they know. They never get anywhere. They never grow. And feedback? And criticism is personal, man. So that means when I'm talking to someone, there could be a situation to where they're thinking what I'm saying is criticizing them. Hmm. Is that you? I hope not. <laughs> they also do not change or improve. That's a given, right? A <laughs> fixed mindset. Of course, they're going to stay the same. So that means they don't like change. Hmm. So if you're trying to communicate something to them, you're communicating a change and they're in a fixed mindset, they're not going to receive it. Why? Because they don't want to grow. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to hear you. So it is very crucial that you do not have this mindset. So how can you have a growth mindset? Be a continuous learner. Yes. Always seek to find out something new every single day. If it's picking up a book, <laughs> going to a webinar, I mean, just something, grow daily. You can even have a conversation with someone new or even someone that you talk to all the time. And hey, you might learn something new from them. But guess what? You're in that mindset where you're ready to receive what they're saying because you want to know. You want to know it all. You want to you just keep growing, which is very different from a fixed mindset. So remember, mindset motivates your communication, motivates your thinking, your thought processes. So being in a growth mindset is better than being in a fixed. <laughs> and in a growth mindset, they confront uncertainties. Wow. So that means if you're communicating with someone and you're unsure of something, it improves your communication. Why? Again, you're open to receiving what they have to say. And that means that you're also able to relate to the other person because you want their feedback. Yeah, you want to hear what they have to say because you want to just, you want to figure it out. You want to know. And also you embrace challenges in a growth mindset. And there are a lot of challenges out there. And that is where you want to be versus the fixed. And they are not afraid to fail. Yes, because they know the more you fail, the more you grow. As long as you get up. <laughs> I'm not saying fail and never get up because that is not good. <laughs> you want to fail forward. Learn from your mistakes. And a growth mindset also puts lots of effort to learn. They are, look, people talk about me all the time because I continue to, you know, be in school. I continue to take training classes or research or read books. 
I want to keep growing. <laughs> I'm not ready to die yet. You know, if I stop moving, stop growing, that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's not my life at all. And so let's talk about one more thing. Feedback is about current capabilities. Yes. Man. So do you see the difference between fixed and growth? But I'm going to tell you why the heartfelt mindset, it just, it just changes the game completely. And this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. <laughs> So let's talk about this thing called the heartfelt mindset. One, these are just some of the things, not all now. They're communicative. <laughs> they place value on effectively communicating. So when you're in that mode of, you know, thinking from your heart, you're already serving others. You're open. You're open to that communication. You're ready to receive it. So when it comes to the heartfelt mindset, communication, <laughs> it's a no brainer. They're right there ready for it. And not just communicating, but communicating effectively. Yes. And then we get to that, the second point I want to discuss. They're focused on the why. <laughs> why are we doing this? I know you think about your children, right? <laughs> but why, mom, dad, why is this? <laughs> when you focus on the why, you have a strong desire to understand the reasons for doing things. So the next time your child comes to you asking you why, don't push them back. Don't say, boy, girl, name ain't none of your business. Mm -mm. Explain to them why. It will develop into that heartfelt mindset young. You know, you're teaching them those, those strategies, those skills at a younger age. You're growing their thought processes. But if they're asking you why and you continue to push them away, that would impede them asking an adult why when they get older because you're programming, programming them to think that why is a bad thing. And it's not. It's not at all. Have you ever thought about that? Probably not. Because why? <laughs> I'm asking you that now. <laughs> because our parents programmed us so don't add, don't question them. <laughs> I'm probably telling my age right now, but that that's true. Our parents taught us that. Just don't question me. You know, stay in a child's place. Now, there are situations where they don't need to know why. So I'm going to put it out there. But when you're thinking about explaining to them why something, the reason for something, just, just tell them. And if it's none of their business, you say, well, I would love to answer that question for you, but right now this is adult conversation or this is some, and some information that you should not you know, know about. And it's okay, but it's not pushing them away to think that, oh, wow, I can't ask why. You see the difference? Yeah. And the third part I want to talk about serving yes <laughs> I have mentioned this a few times <laughs> during this conversation so it's someone who seeks to serve others yes you you just have the heart to serve man if we had more people out to serve others we will be in a completely different place right now yes service is key even in leadership, a servant leader is gold. Oh, man. Man, I can go deep into this one, but I'm not. <laughs> I probably stand with key with communication. <laughs> but when we ask someone, how can we serve them? 
they will be more open to discuss things with us. It opens the communication to think, so they can be like, okay, wow, yeah, yeah, he or she wants to talk to me. They care about how I feel. They want to serve me. They want to help me. So when you're in a service mode, oh, communication is elevated to another level. Trust me, it, it, it will be. And wow, they're collaborative. They focus on working with others as a team. Man, can you imagine if everybody on your team had a heartfelt mindset? <laughs> oh yeah. You talk about team dynamics exploding. Oh yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It would be a force to be reckoned with. I'm telling you. So a team of collaborators, of servants, people focusing on why, being more communicative effectively, it grows a team tremendously. There are so many different strategies that I won't go through right now, but there are a lot of strategies <laughs> that a team can go through to harmonize the environment and make people work together, make them want to work together. You won't even have to force them to do it. Imagine that. <laughs> and here we go. Heartfelt mindsets. Why? They actively are engaged and involved in contribution. They are focused on internal and external thriving. They want to win. They want the entire team to win. So this is why you should focus in on this. It will take the communication level to oof, to new heights. Trust me, it will. So focus on being a heartfelt mindset. And these are some of the areas to where you can grow. Your performance, you are more happier. <laughs> yes, you will be more happy. If you see here, teamwork and leadership, we mentioned that. Persuasion and influence. Yes, didn't think about that, did you? And you can be more resilient. Oh, change creativity oh my goodness can you imagine <laughs> yes oh man and relationships wow your relationships will grow yes they will <laughs> learn how to connect with people and you'll build that strong bond that strong relationship with them in a heartfelt mindset is for communication as well. And when you thrive from the heart, whew, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go over these real quick with y'all before my time is up. <sighs> Tears for thoughts, <laughs> cognitive processing, reflecting, mindfulness, self-management, integrity, up positive thinking. Yes. <laughs> oh, and heart feeling. Yeah, you care. You're concerned. And you see that service again, adding value, character, oh, and that kindness and compassion. Yes. <laughs> We need more heartfelt leaders. <laughs> Relationships. Uh, collaborative. Look at that. Communication. Connections. Not only connecting, but quality connections. Yes. Interaction. Positive influence. And intentionality goal setting, purpose, motivation. Heartfelt leaders are very motivated. 
and you see conscious performance. So do you see a lot? Why, why the heart? <laughs> why it matters when you think about mindset? It, it can change the game for real. Vitality, look at this. Performing with energy. <laughs> and that is something that more people need. They need to boost the energy. It's just like, ah, wake up in the morning, like, let's get it, let's go. <laughs> Effort and engagement. Ah, taking care of quality of life and well being. Man, delivering constructive passion. And here we have enrichment, expanding and enhancing. And look at that, elevating service. Yes, performance and value. Capitalizing on opportunities. Yes, investing in excellence. Yes, we need that. <laughs> so which mindset will you select? Which one do you want to be? The choice is yours. Do you want to be stuck back where you were just born and never grow? I don't think so. At least I hope not. What about being stuck in a growth mindset where you're always growing and growing and growing yourself, but no one else? Okay, a growth mindset will have, make you successful. And that's fine, okay? You're successful, but then you should be ready to elevate and, and be significant. <laughs> what does that mean? That means helping others be successful. Open up your heart, open up your mind. Open up to communicate effectively with people. Have that desire to understand them. Have a desire to grow and thrive. You will be a lot happier. Trust me on that. And we already saw that. It, it increases happiness. <laughs> so this concludes the presentation. And I hope you guys learned a lot about the mindset and how it affects your communication skills. So, thank you. My name is Dr. Tracy Hines Lashley. I am the Chief Elevation Officer of the Leaders Innovative Growth Solutions. And thanks for watching.